Who among us has done it alone? Did you make a New Year's resolution? When we look back on our accomplishments, we see they are most enjoyed when shared with others. Becoming vulnerable was frightening, which makes it that much sweeter to live in the knowledge that our fear got in the way of having a great life. It was all false evidence appearing real. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Freedom from Guilt January 27th Where other people were concerned, we had to drop the word blame from our speech and thought. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 47 When I became willing to accept my own powerlessness, I began to realize that blaming myself for all the trouble in my life can be an ego trip back into hopelessness. Asking for help and listening deeply to the messages inherent in the steps and traditions of the program make it possible to change those attitudes which delay my recovery. Before joining Alcoholics Anonymous, I had such a desire for approval from people in powerful positions that I was willing to sacrifice myself and others to gain a foothold in the world. I invariably came to grief. In the program, I find true friends who love, understand, and care to help me learn the truth about myself. With the help of the 12 steps, I am able to build a better life, free of guilt and the need for self-justification. In sobriety, we learn the words blame, shame, and regret are toxic to our recovery. Sure, we address the harms done to others and ourselves, and we take appropriate action. We do not continue to relive it in our heads. We move on and commit to not doing it again. We give it to God, and the shame goes away. He forgives, so we forgive too, ourselves and others. It says in the 10 step, when we are wrong, we make amends. When others are wrong, we forgive them. The first part of the four step is about resentments. We make the list. Then we meditate on how we contributed to the harm. Then we pray and ask God to remove it. He does every time we earnestly try. Now we accept ourselves, warts and all, which enables us to know what our purpose in life is. Before, we were traveling on someone else's train going 120 miles an hour. It is much better today, riding a horse-drawn carriage, enjoying the scenery of life. Rationalizations and excuses feel toxic now. We go through things like adults, no more avoidance and hoping problems go away on their own like children. We put our big boy pants on and seize the moment. Freedom from guilt. January 27th. Where other people were concerned, we had to drop the word blame from our speech and thought. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 47. When I became willing to accept my own powerlessness, I began to realize that blaming myself for all the trouble in my life can be an ego trip back into hopelessness. Asking for help and listening deeply to the messages inherent in the steps and traditions of the program make it possible to change those attitudes which delay my recovery. Before joining Alcoholics Anonymous, I had such a desire for approval from people in powerful positions that I was willing to sacrifice myself and others to gain a foothold in the world. I invariably came to grief. In the program, I find true friends who love, understand, and care to help me learn the truth about myself. With the help of the 12 steps, I am able to build a better life, free of guilt and the need for self-justification. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.